Hi guys, Jangro here, and this is ATM Gravitas, episode seven. And in this episode, we are going to get ourselves wrought iron with the bloomery. So stick around. Okay, so we cleared a spot out over here for our bloomery, and I've gone through all of the motions and made bronze sheets, double them up. So we have black bronze double sheets, eight of them. And this is going to allow us to create the bloomery. But we need to be in a crafting table, of course. And here we go. We've got it. That was a lot of work. So now to set up the bloomery, looks like this, I believe. Get some, any kind of stone blocks. You can even use cobble, um, but that will potentially collapse. So you need to use more, uh, more cobble to make that. So here's what the bloomery looks like. Two blocks there. A yeah, temp block here. A yeah, temp block here. Okay, these corner blocks in the bottom block aren't strictly necessary, but you can have extra blocks around, no problem. And then it needs a chimney on top, like this. One, two, three, and it's kind of annoying how it's set up. Okay. And so this is the basic bloomery. Just like that. And if we did it right, we should be able to put this right here. And it works. So now the way this works here is that we need to go up on the top here and drop items in. And these items are going to be uh, iron items, like limonite. Let's take a look in the book. Bloomery. So there it is. We just, we got that set up. And so now it can contain up to 24 items of iron ore. That might be an ingot, I think, or as small as a 10 millibucket limonite piece. Um, and But for each item, you need to have charcoal. And... You just throw the, you throw the items in the top and for every hundred millibuckets of iron ore that melts, it gets transformed into a bloom block. We're going to get raw iron bloom and then we work it in the anvil and then to get refined iron bloom and then refined iron bloom gets worked in an anvil to get wrought iron ingots. So this is what we're going to end up right with right here. I got this out of a chest or something. I don't even know. But we've got 10. I think we want to do things in increments of 100 millibuckets. So we got 10 small limonite here. And we've got some charcoal. And I think we're probably better off by crafting this limonite into an ingot. Because that will only take one coal to do that. And then one coal to do that one um, cast iron ingot that we'd get out of that mold. But let's let's do it like this first. Let's let's do baby steps. So we throw ten of these in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think we just throw in ten charcoal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Did I get them all back? I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try that again. That's going to melt into, oh, 90. I need another, you only do eight per level. There we go. Okay. 
So I could only do eight unless I stacked up another one. And now I've got I think 10 in there. I don't know. Let's just try it and see what happens. So we need to light this with either a flint and steel or a fire starter. Is that going to light? There we go. I aimed at the bottom instead at the end there. I'm not sure if that matters. This is going to take 15 game hours. And we'll come back when this is done. While that's cooking, let's head over to our limonite mine. All right. We fixed our inventory. Let's head over down this path. Oh, we need food and water. All right, we've got some rye to eat. Okay, now let's head down the path. It is, by the way, April. We're in spring. The berry bushes are growing amazingly well. Everything's growing. Look at these bushes. It's a blueberry bush. We definitely need some fruit in our diet. We just got these big bushes growing up everywhere. And so I've done some work over here and we've got uh, the beginnings of a mine shaft here. And this is a, oh, my prospector's pick broke, but right around here somewhere is, is a limonite, a very large limonite. Uh, vein. So let's just continue this. Get another support. I've kind of figured that by putting stuff like this it seems to work. And we can keep going. And we can go down from here one. So we can kind of stare our way down. You can see here that the gravel doesn't fall. I think that's because we've got these supports in place. So we've There's a cave down here. I hear a skeleton. Let's see if we can make our way down. And I've kind of been going out every four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I think we can go one more. I was really hoping to find limonite by now. water to block this off the gravel huh I can place gravel right there if these supports are in place that's pretty neat I guess that's how you can really know your supports are working okay somewhere down here is a skeleton Oh, what is this? Let's get ready with torches. Oh, 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 no. Do you see me? That is an apotheosis boss. Okay, let's see if we can block him off without him seeing us. <clears throat> Yes, we got it. All right, let's... Oh, and here is Limonite. Let's block this off, too. All right, who is this? Rick the Mighty. Come here, Rick. He doesn't even see me? 
Come on, Rick. <laughs> oh, did I take damage from him? Yeah, he's got some sort of some sort of damage when I when I hit. But he's done. All right. Oh, look at this pickaxe. What is it? Rick's Omnetic Diamond Rock Smasher of Grasping. This tool has iron effectiveness against all blocks. Breaks in a three by two area. Oh, efficiency four. I'm breaking three. Nice. Just in time. All right, what else have we got here? Diamond horse armor. Gunpowder seems like will be handy. Hey, some redstone. Let's take that. All right, let's leave that stuff for now. And this is great news. Got this rich shirt, limonite. So how are we going to keep this from caving in on us? Support there. Two, three. Like that. Will that help? Oh, I gotta be careful with this though, because if I hold if I crouch, it doesn't do the area mining. Oh, this is amazing. What can I do what can I dump here? Getting all kinds of laminate. This is great. Ah. Okay. All right, that's enough laminate for now. Let's head back, check on our bloomery, and look into also smelting this stuff. Oh, I lost my support right here. A little bit risky. Wow, what a find that was. The bloomery should be just about wrapping up. It's turned off. Now we open this up, and this is one raw iron bloom. There we go. We have a raw iron bloom. Okay, so now we need to work the raw iron bloom in the anvil. Okay, it's just like working anything else, but there's no plans. It just goes into a refined iron bloom, but we need to be able to work it. So let's heat it up. Okay, now it's at can work. And it doesn't melt until it gets to brilliant white. So we can go a bit higher here. Okay, let's stop there. Put this in here. And now we need to do three hits last. So hammer is required. Big, big. This dead one. Got it. Now we've got refined iron bloom. And this goes into wrought iron. We're going to go way up here. Not hot enough. So again, this can go up to brilliant white. So we're not at any risk right now. Can even let it get all the way up to white before it goes to brilliant white. Okay, let's stop there. Put this in here. So now we need to get way up here. So this is a bunch of shrinks. Medium, 
light. Not quite. Shrink. Medium. Light, light, light. There we go. We've got wrought iron. Amazing. All right. So now we just need to take. Let's, let's light things up around here. We've got a torch up here. So now we just. That's hot. So it's not going to stack yet. That's fantastic. So now this wrought iron is. Makes all the things. It's going to be used in create. It's going to be used mining gadgets, hot energistics, bigger reactors, make rot iron rods. So immersive engineering needs, I think, a lot of iron to, to work this. Yeah, rot iron sheets, iron mechanical components, which takes copper sheets and iron plates. These iron plates come from wrought iron with the metal press. You can also press with the mechanical press, which requires blocks of iron. So much iron is needed to get to the next steps. But here we go. So now we just need to continue this process. Okay, I'm throwing some more in here. This time some normal laminite. Let's fill it up. Oh, I closed it and I lit the door. It says 16 input stacks, 16 catalyst stacks. But we'll let this run and we'll see what we get out of this. All right, so I've been off to the mine while this was cooking. And this has now three raw iron blooms in it. I still haven't quite figured out the math. They kind of cook down into those smaller stacks. But I've now got three raw iron blooms here. So what I want to figure out now is exactly how this thing works. Now, I also think we need to make sure that the we've got the right amounts of iron in here. It's only going to generate individual raw iron blooms, which is 100 millibuckets of iron. So if we put too much in, let's try this. Let's put in the 16 items. This is a nice even 400. That's 16 limonites. That will take 16 charcoal. If we smelted this down into ingots, it would only take four charcoal. Let's do that as a test. Let's cook. Let's cook some of this down. Let's just cook four of these down into one of these ingots and put that in. Okay, so that rain turned into a thunderstorm and it was a big mess. So I spent that thunderstorm smelting down some more cast iron ingots. Um, so I've got some normal limonite, 100, mil 100 millibuckets worth and four cast iron ingots. Now we should be able to do with eight charcoal, smelt all these things down. So we close the door, I think. Eventually we need to close the door and we just throw these things in. The wiki says we put eight coal down at first, but I don't think that's accurate based on my experiments. So if we do this, we just Throw in an item and a charcoal. So we throw in this limonite one and throw in a charcoal. See, they, they mix together. One, two, three, one, two, three. They all mix together. Now a whole ingot, 
just requires one charcoal. There we go. Two, three, one, two, three. That all goes together into this molten block. And once that is, once, once that's happened, you can't break it. So you'd have to cook it down. Now, I think if we put in a little more than an increment of 100 millibuckets, I think we'd lose it, just like in the uh, forge. So now we, we light this thing. Oh, we, so if you take a look, there's this molten block in here. And it says we've got up at the top, you can see it says eight input stacks and eight catalyst stacks. So everything seems to be in order. And we should be able to start it now. We should have four raw iron bloom in 15 game hours. So we'll be back for that. Now, when these come out, they're going to be white hot. So we're going to be able to work them right into um, ingots if we're quick. So that's the next step. All right, here we are. The bloomery is about finished. And if we're quick, we've got five raw iron bloom in here, which is what we expected. And we head right over to the anvil. We can put these in here. I don't think I can process two at a time. Then we need to get three hits last. Big, big, small, small, medium, medium, small. There we go. We get into a groove here. Big, medium, small, 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 drink, medium, medium, small. I don't quite have the pattern, but I'm getting it done. When I miss it by just a little bit, it seems that I can recover. that and then go up a shrink down a medium and a medium and a light and that does it so now we need to do these again but they're not workable but same process and we can turn these five into iron ingots just like i did with these Pretty cool. All right, I've got five of these iron blooms in here with a vessel just in case I screw up. Let's turn these into iron ingots. And then these have to get up pretty hot to get be workable. So we're going to need to use the bellows on this quite a bit. Be careful that we're watching the The first one, I think it's this one. So if we let this get up to white, maybe not quite to white because it's going fast now. Got him. There we go. Still missing for the first one, but setting me up. Medium, light. Shrink, medium, medium, light. Medium, light, shrink, medium, medium, light. But we got the job done. All right, we're, we're doing well here. We've got a total of seven wrought iron ingots now. So we're figuring this out pretty well. Let's go take a quick look at the mine and wrap things up.
what was that from? Because the mine, I have, I've been embracing the cave-ins and things have been getting, getting pretty messy over there. Why am I taking damage? Am I too hot? It's pretty hot, but not too hot. I took the insulated armor off. I died of heat stroke. All right. Well, we learned something there. Okay. Let's try that again. So that arrow, that up arrow got pretty red and not sure what to do about it. So here's my mine shaft. But what I ended up doing was making a stair out of here. Oh, we're going to get a bunch of stuff, which is fine. I decimated the uh, apotheosis boss room. But yeah, we've got still a ton more limonite down here. Let's light this up a little. And things just, the cave-ins got to be a problem, but it was okay. Get some more limonite. Keep things moving here. Got a lot of limonite. This is a great find, this mine shaft. I'm getting too low now for these supports, I think. But I've just kind of been letting the, the cave-ins happen. Although things are going pretty well. I love this pickaxe I found. Okay, there's a cave-in about to happen over there. Can I stop this? Let's try this one. I think that, I think that's what's needed. So much limonite. This is so great. Oh, here's a cave-in. So, there we go. Er... Got several more ingots worth here. We got four ingots, another five, another two, one, so like 12 or 13. We just got, just got to get those worked, worked into iron. All right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. I just wanted to get the bloomery going and some iron. There you go. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, keep up with the series and leave me a comment. I really appreciate the tips you guys are giving me in the comments, helping me out with Terra Firmacraft and ATM Gravitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.